Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Secret Agent, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now in the southwest part of the island, there's like three levels we can do. So we might as well just do them one at a time and then move on to the rest of the island. Oh, okay, I did not see the spike there. That really threw me off. Fuel? I wonder what happens if you shoot it. Oh, nothing, it's just part of the background. I was thinking that if you shot that, then boom. That would have been so interesting, but that's not the case here. Instead, all I did was just waste a bullet. Which is never a good thing. Okay, I have this feeling that I'm going to have to go left first, and then we'll go right. There's no reason to go this way except for more points. But hey, points are fun to get sometimes. And I mean, this is a casual Let's Play, so I might as well just get all the items that I can. Or all the points that I can. I mean, there's no point not to. Get it? <laughs> you don't get it. But in any case, it looks like I see a red key. But I also see an enemy. Wow! <laughs> that turned out much easier than I thought it would. Did I get the S? I believe I did. So, would it matter if I push this uh, barrel to the right? Would I have to? Let's find out. Okay, I did have to need this barrel. Because that's the only way I'm going to get to the green key and, of course, the dynamite. But it looks like I'm not done yet. Oh, dear God. I see what's going to happen. I mean, the only way I'm going to get around is I'm going to have to push this barrel to the all the way to the right. Then i got to push it all the way to the left. So remember, I have to go this way for the blue key. And it looks like I'll still need the barrel otherwise. At least I think I will. I mean, i got two barrels right here. Maybe the barrel was not needed, but eventually I did have to get to the other side. So yeah, I'm only going to need be needing one barrel. They just overlap at this point. Ah, crap. I thought I cleared it, but I didn't. Because I'm an absolute moron sometimes. So I'm going to devour this gravestone so I can feel better about myself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. okay. I thought I was going to get shot right there. Remember, one more hit, I'm done for. So I'm going to take care of this little turret over here. Let's do this. Yeah! Alright, I see a ninja. So I gotta be careful. I will take care of this enemy, because that ceiling is too low for me. Okay, now that I got three keys, it looks like I'm gonna need another red key on the way. And I see it. And there's a radar dish. Good. Now I see where the spike is. Just gotta be very careful. I don't want to be rushing this. Because what if I jump and then a spike just shows up and then bam, I'm dead. So this level, I did not need a disc. That's an interesting change of pace. You know, there has to be a much more practical method to take out a radar dish rather than just shoot it three times. Couldn't you just like pluck it off the base and then just cut off the power that way? But then again, you're a secret agent. You don't want to get your hands dirty. Whoa, this is actually a change of pace as well. We're actually outside a base, and we have to get inside. Barbed wire, is that going to hurt me? No, just the uh, rocket over there will. Okay, what kind of flag is that? I mean, it looks like a Norwegian flag. Ah, damn it. I forgot there was, like, a more of that. That, like, that was a double-sided rocket launcher. Like, if the Norwegian flag was on steroids and just wanted all the attention in the world, that it would just, like, make multiple patterns of itself, that's the flag right there. Okay, I'm a bit worried about this little stretch, because you can't really look down. That you have to hope that you're not going to make a blind jump and then hit something. Which can happen. Might as well take some shots for what it's worth. Especially on this guy. And this guy. 
And I might as well kill him because the ceiling is low. Whenever you got a low ceiling, you might as well just go for the kill. Rather than try to risk it. Because you're only going to be taking more damage than you should. Definitely don't want to touch any of that. Because who knows, it may be unsafe. Alright, so it looks like I will be needing this barrel to eventually get up there. But I don't have the disc. Question is, where am I going to find it? Looks like I will need to get up here, so I'm just going to keep this disc lying around. Do I have to make my way all the way back? Or did I just do things a little out of order, and then I just made things a little bit longer than I needed to? I'm hoping that it's the former and not the latter, because then I'll just feel like an idiot otherwise. Okay, so I grabbed everything out of order when it comes to the Y, but that's okay. I'm not worried about the points that badly. Even though points are nice, I'm not going to make a total risk to myself just for them. There we go. Shoot him right in the face. And that's how it's done. Ow! Ow, oh, crap. Did I even grab the disc? I don't even remember. Like, I paid too much attention to my surroundings. Oh, all right, the disc was over there. That's why I showed that I had it. I should have just grabbed the disc and then go back to the computer and then go all the way back again. That makes for a very tedious mission, rather. Having to go through all this work, just going back and forth. But it looks like I had to do it. It's funny, you just grab a flag and it gives you 10,000 points. Like, what purpose does the points serve in this game other than just being, well points. Is it money? Are flags like that worth money? I don't know. It's possible. I mean, maybe it's a very rare flag and made out of very nice fabric. A fabric that's very rare and very fancy. We don't know that. And gravestones with that kind of writing could be worth money as well. I mean, the handwriting on this gravestone is so perfect. I would pay a thousand dollars for it. I don't know. You tell me. Or maybe it's just points. It might as well just be points. I mean, maybe I'm just overanalyzing things too much. Well, oh my god, Bung is talking about points and thinking they had some kind of purpose in this game. It's just a dust game, Bung, okay? Can you just leave it at that? I guess I'll have to. But in any case, I'm going to have to push this barrel back over here. That's a perfect position. So that way I can get back. Then I gotta work all the way to the left, grab the disc, take care of that robot, and then go back to the right, put in the disc so I can go back to the left. Oh my god. Whoever designed this mission obviously does not know the meaning of tediousness. Or maybe he knows it and just wants to enforce it so much. Well, if you wanted to enforce tedium in this kind of game for a single mission... Mission accomplished. There we go. Shut your execution style. I don't want to go for the pigs. I'll end up jumping into the laser, and obviously I'm not going to have a good time if I do. I mean, who does have a good time jumping into a laser? Even if you're playing something as harmless as laser tag, you don't want to jump into a laser. That means you lost. And nobody likes to lose, really. Unless it's weight. Then people might feel happy about that. Maybe you're a teenager and you lost your virginity. You're probably happy about that as well. But laser tag, there's no way you can feel happy jumping into a laser and losing. Not that I've ever played laser tag before, but I would imagine like losing at any kind of game does not give you a good sense of pride. Okay, so the laser field has been deactivated. I hope this is the last time I have to make a back and forth transition. I mean, unless I wanted like the 10,000 points that badly, then I would grab the P and then go all the way back just to get, grab the Y. Maybe it's not worth it because, I mean, you're going through like all this work. And it's just not 
necessary for me. So I'm just gonna grab, like, Sipe, you know? Or Seep. They could have some value. I mean, it's just the standard points I'm getting now. So I'm just gonna wait this guy out. Perfect. Now go. And I guess I will just move over here. If I went through all that work and just hurt myself from the dynamite, I would just slap myself silly. Okay, so that's two levels I've done in this video. Finish this wing right over here. Oh god, robot dog. Robot dog, I would imagine what kind of show that would be. I mean, it couldn't be like Lassie or anything. Or The Littlest Hobo. I mean, those are like feel-good stories, but a robot dog! I mean, there's nothing feel-good about that. And Lola's barking at the door for no reason. <sighs> just shut up, Lola. Nobody's coming here, okay? I'm just a guy that's doing YouTube videos on the internet. I mean, I'm not that social in the building. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Like, I don't understand you at all, Lola. Just give it up. Nobody's coming! Okay, now she's sitting down by my door. Huh. Okay, so I don't have any keys. Not that it worries me at all. I mean, it's, we only just got to this level not that long ago. I'm gonna grab the glasses. I'm guessing it's gonna help me out. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see what I need to do. Just make a tricky jump, like so. And now I gotta work over to the red door. Perfect. So now things are gonna fall into place here, which is obviously a good thing. Okay, no spikes around here. So I might as well just grab the money first, because, you know, I'm greedy like that. Grab the two keys. So I gotta think about, uh, what's my next move? Where did I find a blue door last? It was probably over here to the northeast. Yeah, it is. Okay. I know where I need to go. Just gotta think things through to make sure that I don't put myself in a bad seat. Ow! Oh, damn it! Like I just did! Like walking over random spikes. It's like that's the thing I hate about the spikes is that you don't see them, but they show up at the very instant you're there. That hurts. I mean, literally, it, it hurts. It took away one of my units of health. Which is never a good thing. I mean, health is a good thing, but having it taken away is never a good thing. It might force you to take your time through the level if you don't know where the spikes are. Okay, would I be safe if I'm on the uh, coffee table? Yes. Oh, coffee table, you saved my life. Coffee table! Were you able to save me? Yes, you were able. And I kind of f frigged up the song by saying able before the end of the chorus. All right. Or the end of the line. Okay, what's going to fall first? The dish or the thug? I think it's going to be the dish. Yeah, it was the dish. Okay, I definitely got to see what's on the other side of this. That, that idiot just didn't stand out of a chance. I just kept jumping up and down and shooting. That's all it took to wipe him out. Okay, so the red key was needed for the dynamite, it seems. Is there anything else over here? <laughs> beware of dogs. I only saw one. Shouldn't it just be beware of dog? Wait a minute. Is that guy playing Wolfenstein 3D? Highly unlikely, though. But it, it looks like Wolfenstein 3D. I mean, you got the blue walls, and you got a door, and there's some, like, light blue, which could signify other walls. Okay, so I didn't really need the barrel to get up there. I mean, all I need to do is just hug the wall. Okay, so I'm missing one letter. Increase shot power. Is that for, the like, the duration of the stage? Because I don't see a time limit. Um, I don't notice a difference in my shot power. Unless I'm able to kill enemies I originally couldn't before. It's very possible. Grab the 3000 and get up, man! 
it's feeling like a bank robbery now <laughs> rather than some kind of secret mission. Like, I'm not going to be a very good spy if I'm just walking around with dollar dollar bills and probably coins just jingling in my pockets. You're not going to be stealthy like that. Unless everybody else was doing it, then you're really blend in. Okay. You can jump on those barrels, they're safe. I was a bit concerned because I did see skull and crossbones thinking they'd be very poisonous. And probably the chemicals be seeping out of the barrels, which would cause you to take damage or possibly die. Doesn't seem to be the case here, but they're barrels you cannot push, okay? I got a red key, and I'm thinking of what needs to be done with it. Well, I know it needs to be done, but I'm just wondering where the door is. Okay, I see one. I wonder if it's the only one. Are you the only door for me? No, you're not. There's a green door, of course. And it looks like... Yeah, there was a blue door. Okay. Looks like I'm going to need a teleporter as well. I was wondering where that is. Um, I'm guessing I need to push this. So I'll push it right now. I don't really trust that turret that low, so you're gonna need to go. That rhymes. Haha, <laughs> take that, Mother Goose. Whoa, whoa! Oh, come on! That spike was not fully formed and it still hit me. That does not impress me at all. So much for the 25,000 points, Bongo! You might as well shoot down your expectations at this point. Not true! Because points are points. But life is forever. Until you take three hits and then your life no longer exists. Whatever. I would like to get that ammo as well. And there's the radar dish. Now I can focus on collecting the letters. Okay, I'm a bit worried, because what if I muck up the jump? Ow! Oh! Or not jump at all. Hey, Looks like we're doing this level all over again. What fun. Oh, because I made the mistake of, well, going a little bit too far. But I mean, I tried my best. I was thinking if I jumped too early, I was going to hit the ceiling, and then I'm going to bounce down, and then die anyway. So, it felt like you're a damned if you do and damned if you don't situation. Not that it's true, because I mean, you can just do the jump at all and you'll probably wing it. But obviously, we will never know. All that progress down the drain, all because of that. But I always hate these jumps when you have the low ceilings, because it, it plays with your mind thinking if you jump too late. Or if, no, if, rather, if you jump too soon, you're not going to make it. So you're going to be pushing your luck just by going a little further than you should, and guess what happens? Well, you can just guess, because, well, obviously you saw it in action. I guess I can just drop all the way down. Rather than just slowly drop, which would only hurt me in the process. Well, at least you can hold the jump on to keep jumping, which is a pretty nice touch, rather than just keep having to tap it. Not that tapping it is a bad thing, but then again, we're talking about jumping, so sometimes it can be bad if you're hearing the uh, buttons on my joy my controller. Yes, I use a controller for LPs like this as well, because I don't like playing with a keyboard. Because sometimes the uh, arrow keys tend to stick, even though you're supposed to be using WASD to move, Bonga. I'm not that used to it. Okay, we made that jump. Just keep working on it, and who leaves toothpaste lying around? Careful. I might as well get to the Y for the extra points. Now that I got the blue key, it looks like I can exit. 
Oh, let's get the Y, because can... Alright! Looks like I can finish the level now! You know, I'm a, it was a bit of a blessing in disguise, because now I'll get the bonus points. I'm glad that spike did not show up when I was still up in the air. And now let's think about our next move here. It looks like we got, like, three more levels. And I'm guessing that... Wait, how the hell am I going to get over there? Was it supposed to be, like, up and to the right and then work my way down? It looks like it. No! Maybe I'm... Let's see... Okay, there was one spot to the northeast that if I just walked around the beach, I can get to. Alright, now I think that's going to be the next place I go, since uh, that's the only level there. So in the next episode, we'll go to this place. See ya, everybody.